What's up guys, welcome back to our fifth part where we do mixing and mastering. Basically when you do mixing and mastering, you gotta put each one of these parts in a mix, <laughs> in the mixer. And so basically everything we have here, we gotta put it in the mixer and we gotta mix it. So just, just if you, let's say you're making some kind of juice, some con con concoction or shit, I don't even know, you gotta take everything, mix it together, right? First thing we're gonna do is select each one of our samples, so double click on it and change this thing uh, track to track two, okay? So select the next one, track two. Next one, track two. And the last one, track two. Okay, next part is to take our drums. So let's open up our channel rack, change this thing to drums. Here we have our drums. Select all five of them. You can simply left click on this first green button and then just click and drag down. And you select all of them. And then open up your Mixer and under track 3, right click, channel routing, route select channels to this track. Now if we listen to our beat, let's see what we have. We have each thing, you know, each element of our beat in a separate track so we can mix it together. We have our drums and we have our sample. So let's rename it, right click, rename. Let's call this sample and let's rename this one, call it drums. And I know the first one is called baseline because I know that's our baseline. Awesome. So now what we want to do is mix it together. So first we want to turn down the sample a little bit. Let's turn down a little bit more. Next thing under drums, you want to go to slot one, compressor, fruity compressor. And then you want to turn the ratio up to like number three, turn the threshold down to like minus 15 and turn the gain up to like 5. Turn the gain to 5, to 6. Okay, let's listen to everything together. Okay, that's better. Now let's open up our crash. Simply double click on the crash. Here it is over here. And then turn the volume down a little bit. Okay, that's better. Next, let's find this reversed crash, this thing over here. Double click. Turn down the volume a little bit. So basically the best way to mix is just listen to everything, okay? That's what we're doing here. Listening and then we're turning down the volumes if we need to. Turning them up doesn't matter. Okay, let's first if we want to turn this up a little bit because this sounds, this is just not loud enough. Double click on it, click normalize. See how it's loud now? Louder, it just seems bigger. That's better. Okay, let's turn this up a little bit. I think it's okay. Actually, let's turn this first thing down a little bit. That's better. Okay, next thing we want to do is, that I just noticed, is turn down the hi-hats down a little bit. Okay, that's not the hi-hat, that's the kick. Where's the hi-hat? Here it is, turn it down a little bit. And let's use the pan knob and, you know, turn it to the left. Let's listen to it. Okay, that's better. So basically what you, what you want to do right now is listen to every part and see if it's okay. Okay, I think everything is mixed decent, you know, it's okay. So next thing what you want to do is, you know, mix it all together. That's what we call mastering, okay? So let's say you just made your, like, you, you made your juice now you now you maybe want to heat it up. So that's what we're doing right now. So now what we want to do is under master track, we have this first track over here. Click on slot one and go to mastering maximus. So we're going to use the maximus tool to, we, we're going to use one preset that it has and we're going to use it to mix our, to master our song. So right click over here, go to mastering and then click clear master RMS. Let's listen to what we have.
All right, this some might say this is too loud. So let's let's actually do something with this part over here because it's too damn loud. We're going to do some uh automation or something like that. I don't know what it's called exactly. So, click this first, you know, click this button over here, go to automate, go to volume. And now what you want to do is I want to take this and we're going to move it to the left side a little bit. We're going to extend the ending of it, okay? A little bit. Actually extend it more. So this is what you want to have. You want to have one box that's empty. So it fills one empty box and then it has to be over these here, right? So just copy what I did. Now what we want to do is we want to right click here, create a new point, and then drag it down a little bit. And then right click on it, go to copy value, click on your last point over here. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Over here there is one point, right click on it, go to pa paste value. Let's listen to it right now. Okay, this is better. Let's actually turn it up a little bit. Right click, copy value, right click, paste value. Okay, that's better. So I, I show I sort of showed you how to do the auto automation as well. So that's that. All right, so that's going to conclude our how to make the beat, how to structure it, make the baseline reverse reverb and how to mix and master it. So that's basically how I do it. You can like copy how, you know, what I do. Hopefully you understood what I did. If you didn't, I guess you can ask, you know, you, if you're confused about something, you can ask me. I can explain it in the comments below. So that's going to be it, guys. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to share the video with your friends, whoever. And subscribe for more beats and more tutorials. So that's it. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.